Welcome to our Excel tutorial where we are diving into the power of named ranges to look up values with sum and average functions to simplify your data analysis, which is very interesting. This is alternative of index match, sum ifs and average ifs and is very simple and easy to perform. Today we will specifically show you how to look up and sum or average the sales mentioned in this table for products and months all with a few simple steps so for this first we have to locate name to the ranges name ranges in excel can transform your data analysis make formulas easier to read and manage instead of referencing cell ranges like b2 c7 you can give these ranges meaningful names for this simply select table click on first cell and press ctrl a whole table will be selected this is a tip for you now press ctrl plus shift plus f3 there are four options in front of you so we will continue with the check boxes for heading and left columns so these names immediately tell us what data they represent so the upper row and the left column have been named with this short key. So come to perform the function. Firstly, we look up the values with the name ranges, which is alternative way of the index match function or we look up function. So we look up the values to get the sales for HP brand for the month of January simply type is equal to HP then give space and then type month J A N Jan for January into the cell and press enter look Excel finds a match based on these names to pull in the data unit similarly to how you might use an index match combination to look up values across different ranges so this is very simple way you are simplifying your formulas and making your worksheet more attractive this is especially helpful in complex models or when sharing your work with others as the name ranges act as a clear identifiers for the data they represent now let's sum it all up to sum the data within a name range you can use the sum function directly with the name range for example if we want to sum january sales data we would write formula as is equal to sum start bracket january and close bracket so it will sum all the product sales for the month of january Similarly, we can sum horizontally sales for all the months for a product. So simply type is equal to sum start parenthesis, write HP product name, close parenthesis, and hit enter. So we have obtained the required result. Now let's do a little more complex for example look up values both vertically and horizontally and then sum each of these for example to get the total sales for hp for january we enter the formula is equal to sum star bracket hp for vertical lookup and then space january for horizontal lookup into a cell and just like that excel does the match using your name ranges vertically like sum with index match function to get the total sales for hp for two months january and february so this is a little more complex form so enter the formula is equal to sum start bracket hp space january then comma again write hp space and then mention the month second month february 
so you can mention further months after the comma for this product so we have calculated the sales for hp for two months similarly now we sum for two products with the formula is equal to sum start bracket hp space january comma then second product is dell space we can choose any month like we mention here february close bracket and hit enter so excel quickly calculates the total sales for dell and hp for these months now let's discuss some more complex scenario of summing for multiple conditions what if we want the combined total for hp and dell for january and february just enter is equal to sum star bracket hp jan comma then hp space feb comma dell space jan then comma dell space feb look we have mentioned hp product for january and february and then dell product for january and february so two products and two months so we will calculate the sales hit enter and excel promptly returns the sum here so it is performing same function as the sum ifs we will combine the name ranges with other functions previously we have calculated the sum and now we will combine the sum with average function you can also use name ranges with other functions for more complex analysis for example if you want to find the average of the sum of january and february you can write is equal to start with average function bracket sum then within bracket write january comma then again sum within bracket write feb comma sum within bracket write march and then close with bracket so it will firstly sum the sales for the first quarter and then will take its average hit enter and you will get the required values so here we have it a neat efficient way to manage and sum or average your data in excel using named ranges whether it's sales data or any other metrics this method saves your time and keeps your formulas clean and understandable this technique of using named ranges can significantly enhance the clarity of your formulas making your excel models easier to understand and maintain it also saves your time it is very easy to write and perform this is not a complex form of uh, the formulas like peak lookup or index match thank you for watching and dive into the excel with name ranges and make your data work for you for more tutorials please like and subscribe to our channel thank you